<coughs> Greetings, uh, YouTube video fans. Welcome to my video channel. Uh, this is a video series on the teardown uh, or disassembly and even the repair of miscellaneous items that I've uh, acquired over the years. This particular item here is a clamp meter, which I found on eBay. I uh, needed to do some higher level uh, current measurements on it uh, with, with a tool, so I decided to buy this. I think it was like eight or nine dollars, and uh, I decided to do a little bit of test on it to see exactly how it works out. So I'm gonna turn it on here. We'll plug it into the, well, let's set it for the AC range. The AC is uh, 450 volt and DC is 600. So we'll put it on the 450 volt AC range. Plug it into the mains socket over here. And we can see that Aha, uh -huh. let me see here, as soon as I get some voltage out of it. Uh, you can see that some of the elements on uh, one of the LEDs, or the liquid crystal display, actually are not lit up. That's not 111. Uh, part of it just, did, uh, part of it simply just, just isn't lighting up. There uh, seems to be a problem with the uh, display itself. So I figured I would, uh, you see, one of them was lit up, and now you see it's gone out. It's not a, it's not a six right there. It's just part of it. Just simply just went out. Let's try the uh, 20 amp range. I'm going to stick it on a power line over here. See if I uh, get, move the camera here. As uh, one of my favorite YouTube bloggers would say, don't turn it on, take it apart. So uh, let's uh, grab us a tool here. Ah, here it is. Screwdriver. It's, uh, let's see about getting the uh, batteries out of here. I noticed the battery case does not close properly with the uh, batteries in it. It actually uh, stays open part way, but I guess that's all right. Take out the uh, two AA batteries in it. Well, I'm sorry, AAA batteries. We'll uh, set those aside. And uh, Take out the bottom screw here, and uh, one up here, and we'll uh, set the battery cover and the screws aside, and we'll uh, open the cover on this and see that the continuity Tester is here. That's uh, interesting. The battery snap seems to have come right out. Hopefully that'll just pop right back down into the hole that it goes into. I'm not really a fan of contact battery contacts like this here. I'd rather have actual wires going through it. I've actually been thinking about actually putting wires on there. Okay. There's a, not much of an input protection scheme going here. There is a little capacitor over here, but that seems just about it. I'm not sure if I would want to measure uh, 600 volt mains on this thing. <laughs> You see, you see the two lines go over here. Uh, go to the other side of the board. Yeah, definitely 
definitely would not put 600 volts on here if I was well it doesn't outright seem to be uh, anything wrong with the board that I could uh, see right away and the parts appear to be loose take the circuit board out and uh, get a closer look at the other side. Okay, we uh, have all the screws out. Let's go ahead and separate the circuit board from the rest of it here. It's, uh, it's too bad the parts here are really stuck to get together here. Be nice if uh okay that's definitely stuck in there. Well, let's just turn the circuit board over and see what we have here. Well, I've already looked at the circuit board closely, and I've noticed that uh, the little trimmer cap trimmer resistors on the other side. There's one here one here and uh, one over here and uh, each one of them has one pin that's not soldered but it's not connected to anything so I guess it really doesn't need to be soldered to anything however this one over here the one that's not going anywhere is soldered and the wiper is soldered however the tail end of the other end of this is not soldered. <laughs> it's the one part of the it's not the wiper, it's one of the other contacts that is not soldered at all, at least why it's not on this side. Let me see if it's soldered on this side. It may only need to be soldered on one side. And it is not soldered on this side either. Hmm. Okay, that definitely is not soldered. There is a contact there, and that contact is on both. There's a contact on both sides. I would definitely consider that uh, something I got past the boys in quality control. So I think what I'll do is I'll I'll solder this uh, connection here and see if it helps either the voltage or the amperage range uh, work a little bit more. Now I'll take a peek down here at the at the display unit and see it's got the old what they call zebra strips which are look like they're pretty good. They're uh, not marked up. There's no no, dis no debris or any kind of thing on them. The, the contacts on this side, they also look uh, nice and clean. I'll, uh, I'll use a piece of cloth and I'll rub those down and make sure that they're make sure that they're uh, nice and clean there. So I'll get the soldering iron out here and be right back. Well, I uh, I went ahead and soldered all three uh, terminals, each one of the pots. Uh, each one of the little trimmers uh, did have a connection on one side of the board so each one of them I soldered and uh, should have uh, reconnected it to that connection that it was uh, missing before so let's uh, I went ahead and uh, cleaned and wiped down the terminals and let's uh, put this guy back together and uh, see what we come up with get the screws back into it. Well, we got the display back together and got the circuit board back uh, screwed down inside. Why don't we uh, put this back together and uh, give it a little try and see what we come up with.
have the batteries here. Apparently, after cleaning the uh, contacts, it appears that the display actually wants to work. That's nice. Not that I really want to measure voltage with a amp clamp. It's a bought it specifically to measure amperes with. You see there, looks like about uh, 116 volts. Put it on hold. Now the hold button works and the display seems to be working better. Now for the Coupe de Grassi. Unhold, put it up here onto an amp meter range and see if it does anything. Okay, there we go, and as you can see, it still is reading zero, even though, <laughs> even though it's clearly around the wire. Let's try different ranges. Okay, that's the 200 amp range, the 400 amp range. Four hundred and fifty volt range, there's a DC volt range. Continuity range, there's a resistance range. And of course off. And it does appear to have some odd ability to give a better picture of this. Well, the switch take it off the clamp there, and you can see the switch actually goes a click in the opposite direction, and I don't know what apparently <laughs> mysterious position that is or what it's measuring it actually has a two positions right there uh, on the other side of off I don't know if that has anything to keep the amp clamp position from working but I guess you know yeah you get what you pay for and for about oh six bucks I got a uh, a voltmeter <laughs> and an ohmmeter for six dollars. Well, I guess that kind of closes this out. Well, have a nice day.